we're joined with Stephanie Oswald. Now, Stephanie, you're going to give us some tips on how to travel for the holidays smart and efficient. Absolutely. Well, you know, one of the most important things is to find accommodations that are going to help you that are going to be easy on the wallet because saving money by planning ahead is one way to alleviate stress during the holidays. So I recommend finding a hotel brand that you can trust and one that has all the perks that are important to you, like free Wi Fi or breakfast included in the rate, which is something you're going to find if you stay at a Super 8. They offer rooms, they have locations at more than 2,000 places across the country, across North America, and the average room rate is only $60 a night so you know it's really worth it and then you don't have to crash on grandma's couch which can be very stressful as well now you have tips for road trips and you also have chip tips for airline and I'm looking at your tips tell me about dressing for success at an airline I thought this was interesting Sure. Well, a big message there, save the bling for New Year's Eve. Don't wear it to the airport. Really important to be smart about dressing for the airport. Uh, you want to be comfortable in your plane seat, but you also want to make it a speedy trip through security. Because even if you're a frequent flyer, you have to remember that the holidays are when all the travelers are out in full force. So really important to uh, you know have slip on and off shoes that are easy and not, like I said, keep the bling for New Year's Eve. So really important there. Something else you want to do before you get to the airport is plan ahead, buy your Wi-Fi before you fly. So, you know, if you're the kind of person who wants to get on the plane and get things done, mark some things off that holiday list like shopping or paying bills, GoGo -Go in flight has some deals for you that are going to save you some money and you're going to save more than 50% on the rates for buying Wi-Fi. And then what about driving? Do you have any tips for those people that are going to drive somewhere else? I sure do, Matt. And you know, it's really important if you're going to be renting a car, something you can do to save yourself money is to join free clubs. You know, I'm a big fan of travel clubs year-round, frequent flyer programs, hotel frequent stay, and rental car loyalty programs. For example, Alamo Rent-A-Car has an insider's club where if you sign up for it, it's online and it's free, you're going to get 10% or better off your rate when you book a car. Something else when you're booking your car, go through your own little checklist. Make sure you're requesting car seats if you've got toddlers. Make sure that you know what kind of GPS will be in the car. If you have any special requests for your vehicle, get those out there up front. If you're going to be traveling in Buffalo in the winter, you might want to make sure you've got chains for your tires. So just be aware of these things and the more you do ahead of time, the more money you're going to save, the more time you're going to save.